okay, you've met somebody and this person has been on your mind morning, noon, and night. You can't stop thinking about them, but they're kind of in your dream world. And this also applies for somebody that you've been in a relationship with as well. You know, the two of you have separated, you've split up, and now they're kind of back in your dream world. They're not in your real world, your real life reality. We're about to change all that right now. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful eagle. Oh, we're flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. We believe that you deserve the money you desire, the love that you crave, and the health and happiness you depend upon. And it's all yours. It's yours right now with the law of attraction. Okay. So we're going to talk about your crush, that special person that you've been focusing on, that you've been thinking about, that you can't seem to get out of your mind. But this person has been kind of in your dream reality. In other words, you think about this person, you kind of fantasize about this person, but they're not in your real world your daily life, where you would like this person. We're going to change that through the law of attraction. You know, the law of attraction says that likes attract likes. And when you're vibrating at the frequency of attracting that specific person to become literally obsessed with you, I mean, overwhelmed with you, desirous of you. When you're doing that, you're attracting exactly what you want and who you want. So high flyers, some things seem so impossible that your belief says, well, they're impossible. That's never going to happen. And that then becomes your reality. That's the vibration or frequency you're broadcasting at. And that's what you're attracting in your life. I mean, seriously, high flyers, you can even attract someone that doesn't even know you exist right now. And you can attract someone that knows you exist, that maybe things didn't work out so well the first time, but now you're ready to draw them back into your life for a real, honest, loving relationship. And they're going to be absolutely obsessed with you. I think the thing is, is that you need to move beyond hope. This has to be something that stretches way beyond hope, way beyond dreaming. It's nice to dream of things, but at some point you have to reach up into the clouds and pull that dream into your life. And that's what you're about to do. And when you move beyond dreaming, when you move beyond hoping, uh, you're in a special place. You're in a space of certainty and you don't know how you don't know why you should be certain. Most of the time we know why we should be certain about something, but you just know that you are, that this person is coming into your life and they're going to be obsessed with you. And the two of you are going to have an incredible love relationship. So high flyers, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my own story. If I might, when I first met Rachel, uh, we were 3000 miles apart. I lived in Oregon and she lived all the way across the country in Connecticut. That's a long distance for a relationship and most long distance relationships struggle. But the truth of the matter is, is that our relationship didn't come together like that. A lot of people think it did. Oh, these two must've just loved each other right at the beginning. It came together very slowly. So the challenge was I needed a way 
to move Rachel out of my dreamland where I was thinking about her all the time and into my love land where I could express my love to her and she would express her love to me. And those are very different realities. So it wasn't just about pulling Rachel into my reality, into my daily life. It was about pulling someone that would care about me and love me and treat me in a way that I believe that I deserve to be treated. I believe each one of us deserve to be treated with love and respect, but that's not always possible in today's world. And it certainly isn't possible if you're separated by 3000 miles. So high flyers, I practiced a very simple formula and I'm going to share it with you here in a moment. But first I want to say this for those of you who are watching this video and you're saying, well, you know, the person I'm interested in is only around the corner or down the block or across the city. And we've had some bad times together. We went through a breakup. It was nasty. Let me just pause for a moment and say this. I believe and the law of attraction teaches that if you loved once and you love deeply, you can love again, stronger, deeper with a new relationship. The second time around the two of you can have an incredible new relationship. It's astonishing and they will be obsessed over you. So here's where it starts. I didn't know how, exactly. I was ever going to work things out. Rachel had a job. She had a home. Uh, she was pretty well established where she was living and I was not doing so well. Okay. I had a small itsy bitsy teeny weeny apartment and I had an old broken down truck that had expired license plates on it. So I wasn't doing that great. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Okay. But I had to adopt a new belief. If you'll adopt this new belief, everything will work for you. So high flyers, here's the new belief I want you to adopt. Attracting the one that I desire is easy. Oh, you need to write that down. Even write it down below here. Attracting the one that I desire is easy easy. You see everything in my reality told me it was going to be difficult. Told me it was going to be a huge challenge. Everything said it was going to be impossible. Everything said we didn't match up everything except my new belief. My new belief is this can be easy. So high flyers, the first thing I did is change my belief. That's number one. And the next thing I did is I would see her as a part of my daily life. What does my daily life look like? What are we doing together? What are we going to do together? What are we creating together? Does that make sense? When you see them as part of not just this beautiful, you know, making love on the beach scene in your mind, but this beautiful daily routine, this interweaving of ideas and thoughts and feelings and hopes and dreams. And that's what I saw. And I saw it on a regular basis. So then I flyers, what I began to do is analyze what would cause resistance. If her and I were to get together, what would cause the resistance? And I could come up with a whole list of stuff, but there was really only one thing. Me feeling worthy. You see, as I said earlier, I wasn't doing so well. I didn't feel worthy. So I had to get myself in a position of feeling worthy. I had to talk to myself. I had to adopt new beliefs. And I adopted the affirmation. I am worthy of the love that I desire. I have used that affirmation 
since that very time. And I use it every day. And I use it for my friends. And I use it for my clients because it's that powerful. When you believe you are worthy of the love that you desire and crave, then attracting the love you desire and crave becomes easy and everything begins to work together. You know, you don't have to know how it's going to happen. It just happens. So then high flyers out on my kitchen table. Remember I lived in a very small apartment. I either had a red or most of the time, if I could find them a pink candle, I like pink because it has that red passionate energy in there, but it's lightened up with kind of that spiritual energy of white. So red and white make pink, pink candles are phenomenal. Red work. Purple's a good color as well. It's kind of power and passion, but I'd have this, I'd get up in the morning and I worked at my kitchen table at the time. So I just would light this and it would sit on my kitchen table and I would say, I am worthy of the love that I desire. And then I would close my eyes. I would close my eyes and I would visualize Rachel as a part of my daily life, not just the, the traveling and doing things together and being close together, but as a part of my life, as a part of my journey and me being a part of her journey as well. And, um, I think this is important. Uh, you see and you feel the two of you expanding and growing together. And I have the candle burning. And I don't do it with my eyes closed. I do it with my eyes open. And I stare at the candle. And then I let it burn all day. And as I'm working, occasionally I look over at the candle. That You know, I get back to work and I look over at the candle. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just nurtured. I'm just absolutely certain. I feel so good and so confident. That's the word. When you're in a state of confidence, I just, I'm just, I'm living high flyers. I was living in the wish fulfilled. I was living the wish fulfilled. That's where my mind was all the time. It, I, I just refuse to allow my mind to go to the challenges or to the negativity or to the resistance because what causes the resistance, what causes the resistance most of the time is feeling that you are unworthy of love, feeling that you are unworthy of the desire that you, you crave and the desires that you have. I'm unworthy of these desires. They're evil. Feeling that you're unworthy of respect. So when I began to feel that I was worthy, when I began to see and feel her presence in my home every day, long before she was ever there, when that happened, it was like a miracle. All of a sudden, everything fell into place and it will for you too. I promise everything fell into place and it was incredible. And the next thing, you know, we're in her car driving across the country. Unbelievable. But there is one other part to this. And that is you detach and let go. You know, after I would do my meditation with my eyes open at the kitchen table with the candle, after I would do that, I would stand up sometimes, walk into the kitchen part of the apartment. And she had left a, a scarf, a yellow scarf that I had hanging on the wall. And I would run my hand through that scarf. And I would say, good morning, honey. We're going to have a great day. You're going to have a great day too. Use this technique. It works. Here's some other videos.
to help you on your journey.